we have seen the different ways of preparing oxygen in the laboratory. Let's look at different reactions of oxygen. We start with the reactions of oxygen with non-metals. Whenever oxygen is added to any substance, we call it oxidation. So in this case, when oxygen reacts with non-metals, we say the oxidation of non-metal takes place. So we'll have a look at some of the reactions. Observe, we have some really interesting reactions there. So the first reaction is the reaction of sulfur with oxygen. So we first take sulfur in a spatula and heat it because we have to take burning sulfur. It is then introduced in the jar containing oxygen gas. So as you see, it burns with a blue flame. The reaction taking place in this case is sulfur reacts with oxygen to form sulfur dioxide. We say it is heated because we use burning sulfur. So when burning sulfur is introduced into a jar containing oxygen, it forms sulfur dioxide. Since oxygen is being added to the non-metal, this is known as oxidation of the non-metal. Now, whenever we have any non-metallic oxide, it is made to react with water, it forms the corresponding acid. So, sulfur dioxide, when it reacts with water, it forms sulfurous acid. Next, we take carbon. Carbon, when it is heated in the presence of oxygen, it burns to form carbon dioxide and we see a yellow flame. So, the reaction taking place is carbon reacts with oxygen. When it is heated, it forms carbon dioxide gas. It burns with a yellow flame. Again, this is a non-metallic oxide. When the non-metallic oxide is treated with water, it forms the corresponding acid. So, carbon dioxide forms carbonic acid, that is H2CO3. Next, we take phosphorus. Let's see the reaction of phosphorus with oxygen. So phosphorus is taken on the spatula. It is heated as we take burning phosphorus. The conical flask contains oxygen gas. Observe what happens. It burns with a yellow flame and produces dense flames. So phosphorus burns with yellow dense flames in oxygen. So the reaction taking place is phosphorus reacts with oxygen to form P2O5. And when this non-metallic oxide, P2O5, is made to react with water, we get the corresponding acid. In this case, we get phosphoric acid, that is H3PO4. So we have seen that when sulfur reacts with oxygen, it burns with a blue flame. Carbon, on reaction with oxygen, burns with a yellow flame. And phosphorus, when it reacts with oxygen, it burns with dense yellow flames. And all these non-metallic oxides, when they react with water, they, they form the corresponding acids. Complete the reaction. We have carbon dioxide. It is made to react with water. We know that whenever a, met a non-metallic oxide is made to react with water, it forms the corresponding acid. In this case, we have carbon dioxide reacting with water. So the corresponding acid is H2CO3. That is carbonic acid. Next, let's see the reaction of oxygen with metals. In this case, when oxygen reacts with metals, we call it the oxidation of metals. So we start with sodium. The sodium burns with atmospheric oxygen and it forms golden yellow flames. So the reaction taking place in this case is sodium. It reacts with oxygen when it is heated and it forms Na2O. That is, it forms the corresponding metal oxide. And when the metallic oxides, they react with water, all the metallic oxides form the corresponding hydroxides. So in this case, Na2O, which is a metallic oxide, 
it reacts with water to form NaOH that is sodium hydroxide which is the corresponding metal hydroxide. Let's take a calcium piece. So you see that it burns with brick red flames. So when calcium reacts with oxygen, it forms calcium oxide that is the metallic oxide and when this metallic oxide reacts with water, it forms the corresponding hydroxide that is calcium hydroxide. Now let's see what happens when magnesium is burned in the presence of oxygen. So we take magnesium ribbon and it is introduced in the jar containing oxygen. It burns with dazzling white flames. So when magnesium reacts with oxygen, it forms magnesium oxide and this metallic oxide on reaction with water forms the corresponding hydroxide which is magnesium hydroxide. Now let's look at a very interesting reaction. The reaction of iron with oxygen. Iron coil is introduced into a jar containing oxygen. You see shower of sparks being produced. Because of this type of reaction taking place, iron is used in fireworks. So when iron reacts with oxygen, it forms Fe3O4 and Fe3O4 does not react with water. It is insoluble in water. So when we have the different metals, they form the corresponding oxide. That is, all the metals, they form the corresponding metal oxides on reaction with oxygen. And the metallic oxides, when they react with water, they form the corresponding metal hydroxides. And we had seen the different colored flames. When we heat sodium in the presence of oxygen, we get a golden yellow flame. When calcium is heated in the presence of oxygen, we get brick red flame. The reaction of magnesium gives dazzling white flame and iron burns in the presence of oxygen producing shower of sparks. Another very important reaction shown by oxygen. All hydrocarbons, as the name suggests, hydrocarbons are the compounds that contain only carbon and hydrogen. So all the compounds containing carbon and hydrogen only, when they react with oxygen, they form carbon dioxide and water. So all the hydrocarbons, that is the compounds containing only carbon and hydrogen, when they react with oxygen, they produce carbon dioxide and water. So the different types of reactions that we have seen, when the metals, they react with oxygen, they form the corresponding metal oxides. The metallic oxides, when they react with water, they form the corresponding metallic hydroxides. And when we take the non-metallic or non-metals, the non-metals react with oxygen to form the non-metallic oxides. And all the non-metallic oxides, when they react with water, they form the corresponding acids. And also, one very important reaction of oxygen is in the hydrocarbons. All hydrocarbons, they react with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. So these are some of the very important reactions of oxygen.